Well, let's imagine that the team doing the construction work here can make very nice installations, if you like, paving bricks, all sorts of different structures out of stonework. So what we need is a series of steps, if you like, leading from our focal point out to the entertaining area and to the grass. So let's put a circle in. Uh, I've made this one 350, and let's modify and offset that circle there's and I'll right click 200 mil will be fine and indicate the side so I've created a couple of circles with a little offset and our team will make something interesting an interesting stepper out of those circles or those shapes what we'll now do is grab those together right click and create a block and we'll call it stepper for stepping stones and when asked to pick the pick point the base point I'll click in the middle and OK now when I select that pair of circles they're one object and I can simply move them around and position them so I'm going to use the near O snap and pop the stone in position there so there's our first step of leading towards the entertaining area now we may not get this right but we'll copy and move along. Now you could use the near option and locate things in that way or you could just place them by eye as I'm doing now because clearly spacing by eye would be adequate in this instance. Now you'll notice that the stones there cut in so we've clearly got to adjust a little we can shuffle things along. So I'll pick this one up move that a little closer move this one just a tad closer and do the same there just trying to get the spacing to look reasonable and our team we're confident enough with our team that they will get it right now we could try and just mirror two or three of these here if we wanted that might save some time we'll just pick those two and mirror them starting at the intersection there and right clicking and saying with copy that's fine put ortho on and click that gives us two it doesn't radiate out along the same line because our two construction lines are in fact set differently so we we'll just move our new ones into position and they're looking reasonable i think we might be able to squeeze a third one in here. We can copy that and pop. I've got ortho on. Pop ortho and put that into position. Now we could cut that in in that way or spend a little more time than trying to arrange them differently. Don't forget the other alternative is to pick the stones as they are and just move them in a staggered way which perhaps provides more interest in this design so there we are we now have our uh, we leave the house step onto the path here and pick up steppers that will guide us to the desired uh, access point i'd probably be inclined to leave this one squared off like so and this last one squared off as well and have these others offset now the design calls for a water feature probably a rill running from one to the other and cascading down they're a little too close at the moment so i'm going to pick them up and move them from that position there if i put ortho on they can be moved straight back nearer the tree to give us more space so a design is certainly taking shape um, we might want to edit the block and make it look more realistic but we'll leave that for the moment i think the i think the construction lines can come out the uh, screen went blurry at that time because it was just doing an automatic backup for me and so i'll erase those so things are looking reasonably interesting i'll swing to the layout sheet where things look a little better i think for 
and understanding. So we are, we are viewing from the house and, and see an interesting water feature. We can step out and move easily to the grassed area and easily to the entertaining area. We've got our vegetable area screened from the house, but we've not got a screened area. We might want to put some very thick planting in this area to screen the entertaining area. So things are moving along.